Thank you. Uh, joining us now, we have with us uh, Chief Terry Cunningham, who is the police chief of Wellesley, Massachusetts. Uh, chief, uh, I think I got that right, Wellesley, Massachusetts. Is that correct? Yes, Stuart. Now, the president talked a lot about keeping us safe here in the United States. I put it to you that we are, we have a very hard time defending what I would call soft targets in the United States. Shopping malls, train stations, bus stations. Can you offer us any sense of security for those soft targets, sir? Well, sure. First of all, Stuart, I think that um, you know, we've been very successful in protecting the soft targets through two means. One, the first is through community engagement, having the opportunity to go out and talk to our communities, talk to the schools, the colleges, the universities, talk to them and say, again, if you see something, say something. Let us know if there's an individual out there that you're concerned about, somebody who, who you think may have been radicalized or is in the process of being radicalized. I think that's the, that's the first place we've been very successful. This, the second piece is through intelligence. And unfortunately, these terrorists have, are being allowed to communicate without fear of any penetration through, through our intelligence services now. Um, essentially, they're, they're, they're acting with, uh, communicating through impunity because these devices that we have now are all encrypted. So That's why when I just heard the president talk about the fact that you know, he wants to do everything that he can to, to make sure that we keep the American people safe, that's, that's a concern for me as a citizen and as a police chief. You can't really defend these soft targets, can you? I mean, you, you can't defend a shopping mall. You, you can't do that now, can you? Well, it's, it's difficult. There's, uh, I, I'm sure it's what you, you've heard folks talk about, you know, I, I actually have the middle five miles of the Boston Marathon that comes through my town. Um, that, that's, a, that's a difficult task to, to try and defend against that. Uh, again, you, you look through your community engagement, but the intelligence piece is so important. And this is something that Director Comey from the FBI has been talking about and trying to get the American people to get focused on. Well, the uh, fact that sir, it's going dark. Uh, hold on a second. We're about to admit 10,000 Syrian refugees before the end of this year. That's within the next six or seven weeks. 10,000 are coming. And there's, there's no certainty that we can actually vet these people. There's no paper trail for them. We can't follow. We don't know really who they are. And another 100,000 next year. How do you feel about this new influx of Muslim refugees whom we cannot vet? Yeah, I, I, I agree, uh, Stuart. I think this is going to be this is going to be a very, very difficult task for us, particularly with law enforcement with limited resources. You know, we do the best we can to prevent against radicalization and then respond to, you know, uh, countering violent extremism. Um, it, it just at our, our recent conference that we had in Chicago, we, that, that was a key, key focus. We had the leaders from around the world, from the uh, folks from the French National yeah. Police Investigative Services there to talk about Charlie Hebdo. That's a tough we one. do the best we can with what we have for resources. Uh, Terry Cunningham, Police Chief Wellesley, Massachusetts, thanks very much for joining us. So we do appreciate it. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Stuart. All right. We'll